Okay, welcome back. This is part 8 of my How to Build a Community Site tutorial series. And uh, in the last video, we started our registration process and our form and everything. So what we're going to do is we're just going to continue on with that. Uh, so we're going to keep making our fields here. And the next field we need is our email. So email. And the name is just going to be email. Now, whoops, our next two are going to be for our password. And the text for the first one is just going to be password. And the text for the second one is going to be uh, confirm password. And it's kind of self-explanatory. And um, I totally just realized I've been spelling type wrong. So, just going to cut and paste this. There we go. Um, and the type for our password box is obviously going to be password, so it's not going to show anything but those uh, those big like bullets. Um, and the name of our normal password is just going to be password. Password. And the name for our second one is going to be re password or re password. Um, so that's the uh, confirm right there. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and copy the email one. Uh, then after our password, if we go back here, we have our avatar, and then website and YouTube, so three more. So, avatar, and um, you, you tell I'm not naming these uh, just yet. So this is websites, and the next one is YouTube, and I'm just going to say YouTube username, and website address. Um, so the name of the website is just going to be the website form field rather and it's just going to be website and uh, YouTube for the YouTube field. Now for the avatar we want to change the type to file and we want to change the name to avatar and so what that's going to allow us to do it's going to actually show like a, a select file type uh, setup so we'll actually be able to select a file. Um, now after our YouTube, we need our bio, which is uh, <coughs> is going to be a text area because um, because it could be very long. And I'm going to say bio slash about. And I'm going to change the entire contents of this to text area. And then I'm just going to go ahead and end the text area. And the name name equals oh, sorry pause it cut a cough uh, the name of our bio box is just going to be bio um, now we want to set a coles or cols and this is essentially like the width of our box except we're not using pixels so I'll show you what it looks like I'm just going to set this to 35 or yeah I'm going to go with 35 and I'm going to set rows so the number of rows so that's pretty much like the height I'm going to set it to 5 and the last thing we're going to need is our button. So right here, we're going to take away the text and change the type to submit, the name to uh, submit button, submit BTN. Um, and we also want a value of eh, just register, I guess. So um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to go ahead and FTP this file up to my server uh, so I can show you what it looks like. So I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I FTP'd the file up and uh, so I just got to go navigate to it to, on my, in my browser. So register.php. So you can see we have our nice little form here. Uh, everything seems to be displaying properly except our bio, which... Uh, that's why that should be rows, not row. It's a plural. Um, and it kind of doesn't really say what fields are required, which I definitely want. Um, so, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna come back in here and I'm gonna paste in this box again. Um, so this is right above our submit button, and I'm gonna get rid of the text area and I'm gonna say required equals and then an asterisk. But our asterisk, I'm gonna go ahead and make it red. So I'm gonna say font. Uh, color equals red 
and then right after the asterisk we want to end the font. So yeah, it's good. Uh, so I'm just going to copy the font to the uh, start font to end font. I'm going to scroll up to the top. We want our username to or our first name, our last name, our username, email, and both the passwords to be required, but nothing else is required. So I'm going to pause the video again and FTP up my file. <clears throat> okay, so uh, I refresh the page, and you can see that we have our nice little uh, red asterisks, 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 asterisks. Uh, yeah, uh, so we have these showing up nicely, and down here it says required equals, and a red asterisk. Now, I don't really like that at the bottom, so I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down, grab that, and cut it out, and scroll up, and I'm gonna put it right above the first name and I'm also going to change the order so whoops so I'm going to get rid of the required and so I'm going to go after the um, after that and I'm going to say are required required there's a Q in there so I'm going to FTP the file once again and hopefully that will be the end of it okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to refresh and so we have that. So red asterisks are required. So I guess that's good. Uh, for now at least. Now, like I said earlier, is we are going to style this later. Um, just for now, we just have the uh, basic design of it. So, yeah. Um, and you can see up here we have this nice uh, margin area um, in between these two. Uh, but we don't have it at the bottom. So to fix that I am going to go to my scripts folder and that's actually my connect file that I will get to later um, and I'm at my styles folder and open up the main.css file I'm going to scroll down till I find the footer and I'm going to say margin dash top and I believe it's 15 pixels so I'm going to pause the video and be right back okay so uh, okay so uh, yeah. Um, now, so now that we have our uh, our files ready, um, that we can uh, actually get to our scripting for our register page. So I'm gonna come down below the form variable, right above our echo, and I'm gonna put in an if statement. And this if is gonna say dollar sign underscore post. So what we're doing is we're making sure that our submit button. Uh, has been pressed, so summit btn, because that's the name of it, and that. Um, but if it has not been pressed, which means the user hasn't tried to register, uh, that means we want to uh, just have our echo out our form. So if it has been pressed, what we want to do is we want to get all of our information from the form. So we want to get our first name, last name, and everything. So I'm going to pause the video, and then I'm going to put all this information in. Okay, so I kind of decided to uh, explain what I was typing in first, and then throw it all in. So what we're doing now is we're storing our first name field inside, and I actually spelled first wrong. We're putting our first name value from our field inside of a first name variable. Now, we're using the post method to get our first name uh, value but we're also using strip tags to make it so people can't enter in their own HTML tags and HTML code to try to change up our web page so that is definitely really nice so it adds a little bit of extra security um, so now I'm going to pause and uh, throw all the rest of the information in okay so I'm back now and I've put in all the, inf all the uh, fields for all of our information except for the avatar field uh, because our avatar is a different, uh, it's, there's a different way to get the information for it. Um, so it's a little bit more complicated. I have gone over it uh, already in my file upload tutorial. Um, so check that out to get the details on that. Um, but, uh, but yeah. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going just to just say that. Uh, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to put in the code for that. So I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the code to get the avatar. Uh, 
so or to get the avatar Im image and information. So I'm going to stop this video here. In the next video, we will continue on with our registration process.